So let's imagine for a second a fake scenario. You take me and you get rid of all my money, everyone I know, all the education I've built up, all the skills I've built up, all the businesses I've built, all the brand that I've built. You get rid of everything and you basically place me in the dumpster. And you tell me you have three years to get back to a similar level to where you are today or the same level as where you are today. What are you going to do? Well, this video, I'm going to give you the answer to this question with the exact plan that I would follow if I literally had everything stripped away from me and I had to start from the absolute fucking bottom to get myself back up to a similar level to where I am today. Not the exact level, but a similar level on the right track. And so this video will be useful to anyone who is not quite where they want to be financially, who wants a bit of a plan on how they can get from where they are now to financial freedom or making money online or, you know, on the path to getting rich. And it will be so useful because this is exactly what I would do. And you can implement everything that I'm telling you today. And you should implement everything that I'm telling you today if you want similar results. So let's get started. So this is a three year timeline. I'm going to break up the explanation of what I would do into three different categories. Category one is the first 12 months. Category two is the 12 to 24 months. Category three is 24 to 36 months. So for the first year, Year, we want to focus on two key areas. These key areas are expense minimization and become the number one student. So keep in mind in this world right now, day one of literally nothing, I crawled out of a fucking dumpster and I have nothing to my fucking name and I've got to figure out something to do. So basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to move back home with my parents. So I'm going to move home and I'm going to find some sort of part-time job. It doesn't matter what it is, just anything to get me 20 to 30 hours a week of work. And from there, on, I'm going to be working 20 to 30 hours. This is going to cover my life expenses. I'm not trying to blow any money on parties. So there's no parties. There's not really any socializing and there's no eating out. It's just going to be saving a heap of money, working part time and doing this for about 12 months. Now that's the expense minimization part. The second part of this has become the number one student. So what while I'm working, saving money, not spending much, etc., etc., I am going to be becoming the number one student of someone successful and famous and rich online. So I'm going to think to myself, what skill do I want to learn? What do I want to become in an exceptional person in that can make me money? So it could be anything, could be art, could be music, could be marketing, could be sales, could be crypto, could be literally anything. Whatever I decide to do, the plan is to become the best at it by being around the best people at that. So let's say, for example, I want to become the best at high ticket sales. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to find the best high ticket sales guy that I can find and I'm going to pay for whatever program I can to get myself as close to this person as possible. Now, keep in mind, I have no money, so I'm going to spend that first six months saving up to be able to afford this program from the part-time job that I'm working. And so the idea is you would pay to get access to a successful individual and then you work alongside them and you become their number one student. So whatever the skill is, you are going to be better at this skill. You're going to get better results, bring better testimony and you're going to do just better than every single other person in this program. And what you're also going to do is, is you're going to offer your time to this person completely for free without a single ask in return. You're going to message them and you're going to say, hey, mate, I've joined your program. I'm doing everything I can to make money. I love what you're doing here. I just want to let you know that I'm going to become your number one student and I'm going to offer my time to you for free and I expect nothing in return. And what you're going to do is, is eventually he's going to see, you know, your shit. As he expands his business, he's going to go, you know what? I need to hire some people. I need to hire hire VA. I need to hire someone to do payrolls. I need to hire someone to help with marketing, whatever it is, right? And he's going to look around and he's going to go, who do I hire? Who do I hire? He's going to see someone asking for 3K a month. He's going to see you asking for $0 and expecting nothing in return. He's going to bring you on and give you a chance because you are killing it inside of his program. You're getting amazing results. And what you're going to do then is for that first 12 month period, you're going to become his number one student and you're going to deliver insane value working underneath your mentor. Now, the reason this is what I recommend is because every single investment I've made into surrounding myself with better people, I've literally been asked to work inside of these businesses. My first ever mentor, I emailed about 10 times over the course of six months asking, can you please mentor me? Can you please mentor me? Can you please teach me how to trade? And eventually he taught me how to trade and I became his number one student. And you know what he did? He got me a job in another business that he was working on. So if you become 
become the number one student, if you are around successful people, if you are proving yourself worthy, they have so many fucking opportunities that they can give you. And if you just show that you are willing to go the extra mile than someone else, you know, do it for free, become the number one student, do whatever it takes, they will give you all the opportunities that you can take. So that's the first 12 months. That's the main focuses. Now, the goals for the end of the first year is ongoing mentorship for multimillionaire. You want 10K US dollars saved up from this part-time job. So 12 months, 10K saved up. You want foundational skills in whatever you've decided to learn. You want an ironclad focus on achieving goals and trial and error with building your first business or remote work on the side. So you want to be experimenting with some sort of online money in this period. And so year two, what are you going to do? Year two is all about new city slash new life. So now you've crawled out of the dumpster. You've got a job. You've shaved off your beard. You're no longer a homeless man. You've got a little bit of money. What you're going to do is you're going to move out of home because when you live at home, you're very much limited in your personal growth and your parents are not going to necessarily support your goals of doing non-conventional stuff like making money online, crypto, all this sort of stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to move to a new city. You're going to get a crib with either yourself or people, one to two people who are focused on the same mindset and goals as you. So making money, chasing success, et cetera, et cetera. You're still going to live cheap. It's not going to be a crazy apartment. It's going to be something cheap, but not as cheap as before. So you're going to reintroduce social life. You're going to go and do social activities. In particular, you're going to be focusing on networking events. So you want to put yourself out there. You want to begin to meet people. Now that you're not a homeless man, people actually want to know you and they want to be friends with you. Now that you've shaved your beard, now that you don't smell like shit, people actually want to talk to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out networking events. You're going to join online communities if you can, stuff that isn't too expensive and you're going to start talking to people because now that you are building the foundational skills to make you a valuable individual, you just need right people to know that you have the skills that you have and they will give you opportunities and opportunities will occur, right? So I have skills of crypto sales and marketing. I have more than a dozen huge opportunities that I could pursue to make a ton of money if I had the time to do them. This is because I've just met so many people along the way from me consciously networking that all these opportunities are there, right? Now, I could never go broke now because if I lose any of my current income sources, if I lose all my money, it doesn't matter because there's always opportunities with people that I know to build a business, to come together, to make something, to make money, right? And that's what you want to build for yourself now that you're not homeless. And so the idea of a big city as well is you want to be around energy. You want to feel the how alive a city is and you want to meet higher caliber people. These are the people that you'll find in big cities. They're not going to be in your little rural shitty town. They're in cities like Miami, New York, LA, et cetera, et cetera. And so what are your goals by the end of the second year? Your goals by the end of the second year are 10 to 20k in savings, building a solid network. So you should have some really solid guys that you know in your network. You should have minimum more than one millionaire who you talk to on a weekly basis. And you should have an income that is paying you five to 10k US dollars per month. It doesn't matter where it's from. Online business, part-time job, work with mentor, side hustle, doesn't matter. Five to 10k a month US by the end of the second year is what you should have. And so year three, what is the plan? The plan for year three is double down. What do I mean by this? Get a nicer crib. You want to get not a crazy expensive stupid crib but something that's not like a little fucking homeless shack okay something half decent and you want to move in with people who are genuinely passionate and hardworking and are going to like fucking conquer the world with next you want to remove the part-time job so now you're not a brokey anymore you don't need to work a nine to five you don't need to go to that fucking cafe that you were going to before you can get a proper online job or a build your own legitimate online business. That's what you need to focus your time on. No more part-time work, focus on your own stuff online. And then next you want to invest heavily into yourself. So this is where it becomes even more important to build your network, to learn skills, education, etc. So you want to expand your existing skill set by buying programs to learn additional skills to basically stack on top of your existing skill set. Because each skill that you stack on top of your existing skill set increases the total value of you as a person multiples more. See, one skill by itself is is worth one point, but four skills stacked on top of each other equals 20 points because each skill stacked exponentially increases the value of all the skills below it because it makes you a more unique person and it is even harder to find someone like yourself who has this particular set of skills in a row. And so by the end of year three, basically you should have 10 to 20K per month in online income because you've had two years working with a mentor, trial and error building a business, saving capital, networking, getting opportunities to build certain businesses with certain people, you should just be at 10 to 20K a month online. It would just be impossible not to be there. And then what you also want is you wanted to have ascended up in the ranks 
of your mentor's business. So because you picked a great mentor, his business is scaling crazy and he needs to keep hiring people. You as the best student, you should be getting roles within the company and you should be able to be making solid money working under your mentor. And as well, you should be scaling your own business. So not only will you be working with your mentor, you should be building something else on the side. And by the end of year three, you should also have an abundance of great opportunities you have to say no to. So the mark of when you know you've made it, where you know there's no coming back and you won't go poor again is when you have so many opportunities that even if everything you're doing right now blows up in your face and you're back at zero, bankrupt, whatever it is, you know that you can make it back fast because of the network, the opportunities, the skills and the education and wisdom that you have built up over the past two, three, five, ten years, whatever it is that you've been working hard. And what you should also be is top 1% in the skill that you've decided to learn. So it's been three years. Let's say you decided sales. You should be a top 1% salesman in the skill of sales. And so that is basically what I would do if I was sent back to zero in a dumpster with nothing and I had to crawl my way out and get myself back to a point where I was making good money and on the path towards financial freedom. Now that path only takes three years and honestly, it probably should take less than three years. I got to much higher levels than what I explained in this video within two years. So the fact that I've left three years is just giving wiggle room for the fact that in this video, I would have literally had to have started at zero. So any of you guys at zero right now, this plan accounts for the fact that you are there and it should not take any more than three years if you implement everything in this video to get to a point where you're making 10 to 20K a month on the internet. If you genuinely put in the effort and do everything that was in this video, if you don't become the best student of a multimillionaire in this plan, it will fail because he will not hire you. He will not want to teach you. You will just be another one of these paying customers and he will not care about you. So with this plan that I've laid out would not work. Obviously, there's a million ways that you could approach the path to making money. This is the path that I've explained and that part of the mentor is so crucial. Becoming the number one student is everything. It is so important. And so if you want to know what the best investments are for 2023 and onwards for the next bull run, you're going to find the answer to that in the description below. I have the top list of projects to get 10 to 100x returns in the description below. 100% for free. Get a copy if you're interested. I'll see you in the next video.